No! Oh! What's good? It's your boy Sheen. American History Story. We are jumping into a movie today. This movie is recommended by Big J, so we're gonna say appreciate you. We're about to see how this one goes. Um, don't know anything about this movie, so can't wait to jump into it and see what it has to hold for us. If you guys want to get a bunch of content, some exclusives that aren't making its way over to YouTube, and some uncut reactions, make sure you hit that link in the description to the Patreon. Head over there and sub up definitely missing out we we'll also dropped a link to our merch shop so if you want to grab some merch and look real fresh and be comfortable while you're being entertained make sure you click over um to the dknd.shop link head over there and you check it out and then we'll also drop our link to our discord so if you want to chop it up about anything we watched so far whether it be a movie or a tv show you can do so within the discord or you can do so within the community chat on the patreon but without further ado let's jump into american history x let's get it the young boy in there, though. She old dear. She. <laughs> she in the world. That's for sure, that boy. Hmm? Yeah, back in high school and shit. What the rod, though? It's sure they out the fucking movie. I think that's his little brother. There's a black guy the working in your car. Does he have a fucking gun, Danny? Man, I don't fucking know. Here Jesus! Stay right here. Wait a second, Derek. I got the swasty everywhere in the crowd. Damn. He leaving now. I know. Oh! If you do this in real life, you go to jail. Like him shooting the guy with the gun is fine, but the boy that's running, you can get charged for that. I've been waiting all his life for that moment. No cat, that boy feel good about that. Yeah, he, about to, he about to execute him. But the hitting with that shit? It's a travesty. Arguing for Hitler as a civil rights hero, you've got to draw the line. You know, Murray, you actually did this to yourself. You told them that they could do a report on any book that related to the struggle for civil rights in plain English. Literally. You can't be mad about what he wrote. <clears throat> and he harbors some sick ideas, but I am not ready to give up on him yet. His brother probably put him up to it. This racist propaganda, this mind camp psycho babble, he learned this nonsense, Murray, and he can unlearn it too. That's fast, though. Everything is learned. Literally. I got a headache, y'all. I got three on. Derek got out this morning, did he not? He hung out with simple-minded fools like you. Mein Kampf? I should expel you. I think the street would kill you. Your rhetoric and your propaganda aren't going to save you out there. Literally. I'm your history teacher from now on. We will call this class American History X. I want you to analyze all the events surrounding Derek's incarceration. How long was he in? The impact on your life, your families. I'll be the only one reading. It's not on my desk. Tomorrow morning, you are a ghost at Venice Beach High. Man, one day to write a paper crazy. What you mean? Is that what's happening? I never cheated in my life. Peter's more fucking ass, Henry. But I didn't say anything. Why are you tripping on me? It's Henry? Uh, nah. I'm thinking that's the other boy. I'm about to steal him as soon as he get up. I'm scared for it. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You smoking you a cigarette, die? man. Punk ass yeah. white boy. Oh, oh nah, yeah, Stanley. You lucky I gotta go to class. He ain't gonna do that. He don't wanna see me and the heater. Lucky the bell rang. I would have clocked that white boy. Punk ass. I don't know what schools niggas be going to with this shit. Like, I like it. Like, come on, bust it. Like, At least when I was around, like, nigga, man, fuck, I got but I guess if this is like back in the day when schools first started integrating, nah. it could, it could be like this. Venice Beach gang. Venice, Venice Beach, then LA. Nah, but yeah. I, it's definitely like this in areas though. For sure. This is California. Skinheads. 
Gentlemen, this here is Dr. Bob Sweeney. Now, three years ago, a local kid named Derek Vineyard was sent up for murdering a couple of Crips who were trying to jack his car. Yeah. Well, Bob taught Vineyard back in high school, and he's followed the case kind of closely. Couple of C's. He's probably the biggest distributor and writer of white power literature and videos in L.A. County. Alexander found in Derek his shining prince. Essentially, he used Derek to recruit a slew of insecure, frustrated, and impressionable kids. That's crazy. So it's always old head. That's how you do it. You, you hammer those details into kids and they just spread it to other kids. Earlier today, L.A. County firefighter Dennis Vineyard was shot and killed battling a blaze at a suspected Compton drug den. We're at the Vineyard home right now, and uh, Lieutenant Vineyard's oldest son, Derek, has agreed to uh, talk with us for a moment. Damn. This was a start. You know, immigration, AIDS, welfare, those are problems of the black community, the Hispanic community, the Asian community. They're not white problems. You better come out bug. Gangs are like a plague. They moved west from Inglewood and South Central and basically took over. They ain't lying about Niggas that. Niggas can never play a game of ball without paying. Yeah, that's that motherfucker. Yeah, man, that's him. Young boy don't give a fuck, though. Who, uh, Maui. Danny? Oh, yeah. That's why Derek started the DOC. He said white kids shouldn't have to walk around scared in their own neighborhood. Tucking it up, pass the ball. <laughs> you ain't getting shit, motherfucker. You ain't getting shit. Yeah, and that's boy kill. I come in this game right now. Same score, but we play black guys against the white guys. No money for these courts. And not just today, for good. Come on, bro. He came in all this oh. energy and shit. <clears throat> come for that shit, you hurt. <laughs> this shit funny. I ain't do that. Uh, 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 easy. Oh. You okay? Yeah, just give me some water. Fuck that. You can't let those niggas get away with that shit. Shut him down, Derek. Kick some ass. This shit funny. Yeah, no cap. <laughs> I've been taking offense to this shit. This shit be last. That's the boy he killed. That's crazy. That's why he did that. They probably beat him right here. Yeah, no cap. I'm gonna go steal my man's car. Obviously, they beat him. Yeah. Because they still in the court. <laughs> Never did he dunk that. Derek wouldn't let us visit him in prison. He said it would make it just too hard for him. And then, at 7 o'clock this morning, we picked him up outside the gate. We got a new shorty. Uh -huh. Oh. Come on. Give the guy a break. What's the matter? You too big to give me a hug, tough guy? You gotta do something about that hair, man. That dude's gotta go. You're keeping it pretty close. You took it all the way down, huh? Yeah. It look like he, yeah. yeah. It looked like he don't, like he not with it no more. They're putting it on, man. Where'd you get that? I got it about a month ago. Cameron made it official. Cameron, he put this on you? Mm hmm. He's probably not with this shit no more. I could tell. It just seemed like he don't. Because he would have came out with his hair cut if he was. Nothing. I'm gonna grab it. Is that I feel like he's trying to get out of this shit, but then young boy in it. That's what the fuck he you too want. deep in. Oh, hey. This shit said what? niggas beware. My eyes have seen the glory of the trampling <laughs> at the zoo. We've washed ourselves in. That boy put that on though? We're That's Cameron. Uh, nah, Cameron is the older guy that started oh, everything. What the fuck is Seth doing here? Did you invite him over? No, nah, he always comes over here. Just give me one minute. Now my boy not the same. Did that time the boys probably was beating his ass in jail. You still here, Goodyear? You call me a blimp, you fucking Democrat? When was the last time you were actually able to see your feet? Are you killing him right now? Tell me some of the shit you've learned, fuck ass, before I pistol whip you. I believe in death, destruction, chaos, filth, and greed. <laughs> I'm not fucking talking to you, Davina. Why don't you shut up? Oh, miserable. What do Seth? Every time you come over, that way we getting cooked. I hate the fact that it's cool to be black these days. Was that Sweeney on the phone? Yeah, Sweeney called the and told me. God, I hate that fucking hey. man. Hey. Fuck that. Seth, go away. Go Are away. You kidding? Nope. Badass. Literally. <laughs> like, shut the hell up. I'm talking to my little brother, bro. I don't want you getting in trouble in school, trying to impress me, taking this shit in there, all right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, I guess, but I mean, I was, I was <laughs> doing it because I thought you'd be happy. Well, I'm not. Smoking that nigga shit. She's coughing her lungs out and you're blowing the shit in her face all day. Put it out. I mean, when then it came out with some manners. <coughs> shit, she's smoking it. It don't even matter. At that point, it don't. You already got it. Yeah, the fuck it do you beating it up? This ain't gonna end well with him and a boy Cameron. 
Especially if he trying to get out and he was the one that started everything. But you know how that go. Right when you're trying to get out, something happens to you. Well, I could drop out of school and get a job. No, no, absolutely not. I'm fucking starving here. I mean, I can't. I don't give a shit. Go wait in the living room. He gonna get humble. He gonna get Danny into some shit. Mm hmm. <laughs> He's an idiot. I'm gonna catch up with you later tonight. I can't. Hey, so hey, not at cameras. What? Right. Look, I need you to stay away from there. I will explain it to you later. I just need you to stay away from the party. Is he working as an informant? Danny. You're not fucking 14 anymore, all right? Oh, he's 17 now. That boy can do whatever he wants, for real, for real. That boy almost 18. Come on, let's go. Yo, why are you spitting shit on my floor? Nah. People like that, not your friend, bro. I would have stopped this Somebody in my crib or me got to pick it up. Like, spitting shit on my floor? Like, bro, get out. Don't ever come back in my crib. If you come over, you got to knock and wait outside. He going to write about how he changed. We got that writer's block. I don't know what to write about. It's always that first sentence. That's a good first line. It didn't take long for Derek to make a name for himself. And Cameron knew just how to use it. I gotta be careful. Covering all his tracks and fucking up his. He sent Derek to the kids. To the frustrated ones. The ones who were sick of getting their asses kicked by black and Mexican gangs. Let's go, let's go. Pull it together. Just shorty. That's probably why he not fucking with her no more if he changed. We need to Put that away right now. Have a little self-respect. We need to open our eyes. Why they do that? But that shit started with the hippies. Literally. The state spent three billion dollars last year for those people who had no right to be here in the first place. Four hundred million dollars just to lock up a bunch of illegal immigrant criminals. He got the SS on. He went under, and now some fucking Korean owns it. About to burn down that boy's business. We're on a battlefield tonight. Make a decision. Are we gonna ante up and do something about it? Oh, yeah. 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 Those little ass cotton shits ain't doing nothing on you. Don't you know it's against the law to hire fucking border jumpers, you neck bastard? Shit, you at they mercy now. Oh, he got that tool on. Him. He got the blammer. Oh. Oh. Right. Card, no fucking work, friend, eh? got the, she got the ultimate Krabby Patty. Yeah, I'm for sure closing shop. Show you right on. Close shop, man. I don't got no grocery shopping in your neighborhood. It's an irrational act. It's crap. I don't buy that for a minute. It's opportunism at its worst. It's, it's a bunch of people grabbing any excuse they can find to go in. That's when he dated their mom. Mm -hmm. I don't think that the tape showed that at all. Oh, you didn't think so, huh? And what, you're an authority, ma? <laughs> Are you an authority? You hit him with that. Look who's talking about respect here, Mr. Junior KKK. What is your point, Derek? All right. Oh, boy, love that shit. <laughs> Oh boy, love that shit. Think about it. If that fucking monkey had run some kid over, everybody would have a very different. You're like, yeah, I can't camera. believe. It blows my mind. We're so hung up on this notion that we have some. Nah, he love this shit. No cap. Some slack until he can overcome these historical injustices. It's crap. This stuff you guys are saying just perpetuates. He looking at Danny and all. I'm like, man. Yeah. Thank you all the way, baby. I'm so sick of these liberal. He a Nazi, so he don't care. Don't interrupt her. Who the hell do you think you are? He's right in the middle of making a point. I'm down. Shut up. She eating that up. Stay out of it. Come here. Hey. What are you doing? Oh, he's drowning. Derek, let her go. Derek, let her go. That is sister? Yeah. She can't breathe. Let her go. She about to see the tattoo. What you mean? Now he the and then she. At her. She's a tweaker. This is your family. Right, my family. You're not a part of it and you never will be. Sit here and smile while some fucking kite tries to fuck my mother. Jewish. Loving hippie bullshit. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, after that. See this? That means not welcome. That's why the principal was saying, like, I know, like, you hate, you hate that family. Nah, I would too. Though. Yeah, after that. Go from dad to that. Aren't you ashamed? I'm ashamed that you came out of my body. Damn, I killed him. He got the SS symbol on him and everything. But she just enabling it. As a brother, boy, you bugging the fuck out. Like, so with you, brother. I can't be with you. Yeah. I really am. Damn. She ain't been with nobody since. It's just a boy. Nah. Uh, Goodbye. Damn, why ain't you dap my man's up? Like, your son bugging the fuck out. 
Ain't got nothing to do with my man. <laughs> Wanna come there every day and hear that shit? Yeah, right. You really gotta fight your son every time I come in here? I'm not doing that. You gonna choose your son every day over me. I can't do that. That's how I expect Respect you to. Me. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Shit, I would want you to. But shit, at a certain point, this shit getting... She getting tired of this shit. Take this, you fucking hey, no. Oh! No, 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 come here. Who's that? That's, that's his sister. I would never hurt you, you know that. Come on. You just did. Hi, what are you doing out of bed, huh? It's Allie. Mm hmm. Woohoo! Woo she almost hit her head off that. Literally. Damn, so she got sick and they lost the crib. Yeah? Yeah. Take that shit out your mom's hand. What the bro? No wonder you're sick. You know, you don't get sick from the cold, you get sick from germs. No, you get sick from smoking. And then you smoke it. I quit. It's not good for you. Hitting that shit right in front of little sis, man. Matter of fact, they ain't little sis in that crib. When are you gonna let that beautiful hair go back? You catching secondhand smoke, crazy. I want you in this house. In my mind, I imagine what would have happened if I hadn't gone. No, yo, shorty, shut the fuck up. No, Daddy. I know he seen him and was like, it's over for me. Crazy. That's true. He only went to jail for three years. Bro, he stepped on his fucking head. He he curb curb stomped him. No, about Gears of War. No, you know. Nah, he was far gone. He about to attack the cop? Nah, he's stung. He about to feel it now. Like, he did all that. Now, he about to go to jail. Now, he don't got that same look no more. Nah, I stepped on boy. Head is crazy. I thought he pissed with him or something. Danny, it's for you. He gonna go to that party. Be right there. Would have been life if I testified. That's crazy. I don't be saying shit for real because everybody <clears throat> entitled to their own views and shit. Nah, that shit you know, just think it's right or wrong. Yes, there is. <laughs> you said what? Yes, there is. You know, it's not actual perception of right or wrong. Come on now, bro. I'm gonna go get some beers. Man, there is something called right and wrong. It's not. Yes, it is. There's no right and wrong, there's no good or bad. Man. Yes, there is. Hey, what a body of that thing! I'm not fat, oh, asshole! I'm husky! Oh. <laughs> the boy said I'm a hus. I'm big hus. He gonna be Let's mad as hell as little brother there. He told him not to go. You are a fucking god, man! Oh, shit, yeah! yeah. Oh shit. He didn't tell his shorty he was out? It wasn't his, that was his mom and his sister that picked him up. That's what I said. He didn't tell her she he was out. Good old Sweeney. He never stops trying, now does he? Uh, he's one of those proud to be here people. I hate those guys. Oh, wait a minute, Danny. He's trying to make you feel guilty about writing about Adolf Hitler. See what I was saying? He don't even know his brother out there talking to him. No, listen, listen to me. I want to see you, okay? I do. But I got to take care of something tonight. You understand? I'm here. When you're ready, I'm here. No. I don't want it. I don't want my family involved. Everything I've done here has fucked it all up. Do you understand? Those got exactly what they deserved, and we all know that. I'm done with it. I'm through with this. DD on different wavelength. E for frequency. It's never going to work. Just trust me. Come with me. No. Come on. <clears throat> you're nuts. She ain't really love you, my nigga. Wait a second. What was a mistake? Stacy, just say goodbye. I know you. You don't know anything about me, Stacy. She let the power that boy had. You tell him Lizzie's looking for him? Lizzie. Thank you. The boy getting butt off of his brother being him. And if we scare the fuck out of people and a few people get killed in the process, so be it. You gonna put that in your paper, Danny? <laughs> hey, man. You heard him. You gonna put that in your paper? Turn of the soldier. Let the kid alone, Derek. He knows when to go to bed. Yo, that's my brother. Who the fuck who you is? Come on, dear. I'm not doing anything. Come on, there's this little blonde girl. She's sitting out there. She keeps asking for you. She's right, dying. Shit. Come on. Okay, well, I gotta check out. Go easy on her. All right. <laughs> Like, yo, yeah, Wolg is a creep. Wolf 60 something. Throwing a party for young wolves. Like, bro, you gotta really watch out for that's these his people. group, though. Nah. He don't got a group. He a lame. You don't have to watch your ass around here, but 
we're just so damn glad you're back, Derek. You made the fat kid a little nervous. He thinks the joint messed with your mind. It did. He dead ass too. We're gonna kill him, bro. Yeah, bro. He gonna, gonna kill him? It's gonna be Seth to kill him. It's always yeah. people closest to you. They're gonna bomb. kill him and make it seem like it was black people that did it. We've got every gang from Seattle to San Diego working together now. They're not competing anymore. They're consolidated. The only thing we lack is a little overall leadership. And that's where you come in. Why can't you do it? Well, if you're not going to do it, your little brother is. I am done with it. All that bullshit out there and all your bullshit, too. I'm out. I understand how you feel. I mean, you've just done some hard time. Don't you fucking talk to me about hard time. You don't know a thing about it. You never went in. You didn't do shit. I found out about your little prison story. You did two months, and then you rolled over on two kids and let them go down for you. So don't feed me your fucking lies, Cameron. Damn. This is stupid. That's why you said his track record was clean. You use them. I lost three years of my life for your fucking phony cause, but I am on to you now, you fucking snake. Watch it. Be careful. If you come near Danny again, I will feed you your fucking heart, Cameron. I won't have to. He gonna come he coming to me. me. He'll come to me. I'm more important to him now than you'll ever be. Yeah, that's where oh. we get it. Let's really get it. Let's really get it on. You're a fucking dead man, Vineyard. I might as well just kill you now, then. You make me fucking sick! Get on the fucking gun! Shoot him, Seth! Do it! Do it, Seth! Shoot him! You dead pussy, Seth. What a bro. Bro, I blow everybody fucking head off in this joint. Stop playing me. Sorry, I'm a true weird up, fat ass. Move. Move. I'm leaving, Danny. No cap. You wanna live that life? I'm gonna let you. Hey, you came to that party. I told you not to, young boy. Oh, he gonna have to leave now. They might still pull up on him now. Take it easy, Dan. Take it easy. I fucking hate you, Dan. Take it easy. What's happening, Dan? But you gotta think, his brother put him into that shit. Yo, push me again. I'm gonna treat you like you're Yo, 17. Cat. What a bro. Come on. Come on. They're not safe now. Suppose Seth know where they live. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry. You weren't supposed to see that tonight. I told you not to come. Fuck you, man. He did say he had something to do so tonight, too. Up. That's what it was. He probably was gonna kill him if Danny wasn't there. Get up! Five minutes! This is my fucking house! He's probably in the cell with all black and Hispanic people. Yeah. After he two days in that ass. place, I didn't think I was gonna make it a week. Hey, you white trash piece of shit! You think you're fucking special, white fish? And his CEO was Hispanic. Don't fucking eyeball me, See? Fucking skull fuck you. Everybody Get looking on. at him, and I'm like, damn, I'm in here by myself. So I figured I'm just gonna put up a flag and hope a friend sees it. Yeah. It wasn't jacking them. Minorities is gonna be the ones that fuck with them. It's five of them niggas. <laughs> you done. That's what he don't understand. It's less of y'all everywhere you go than it is everybody else. Cause once you should brand that shit, it's all minorities. Yeah. Don't fuck with me, all right? Because I'm the most dangerous man in this prison. You know why? Because I control the underwear. So, man, you should be happy as shit that you land this job, all right? Ain't no telling what the hell they have you do up in the joint. By the way, uh, what you in for? OK, I know your kind, right? Fat-ass peckerwood with an attitude. You better watch your ass. Because in the joint, you the not me. Damn. Kill thing with that. Yo, kill thing. Doing favors for that fucking spick? Somebody should say something to him. Mitch is the only reason why you're not a corpse right now. See how well you do without that protection. No kid. A little ass punch it out of that joint and I fuck. Let's talk to camera. Swizzy. Oh, she came even though he said not to. Yeah, well, look, I told you I don't want you all coming up here. How's Danny? You're starting to remind me. Don't I'm bring this shit up to. to me, because all it does is make me feel bad. I'm trying to get through this, and you're just making it harder. You think I'm not in here with you? Yeah, that's probably what changed him. We heard Duke say that. And he called her Doris? Like, bro, stop playing me. No shit. <clears throat> Will you chill the fuck out? No matter how fast you get through a man, they're going to keep bringing him in. But you know you're going to give me a goddamn heart attack, too. 
That's gonna be the only person he could talk to. No cat. All right, boys, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna hate some niggas. hate some niggas all day. I don't even know what a nigger is, but you know what? We're gonna hate him. Killed you with that one. He killed you with that one. You gotta laugh, shorty. Do them shits right. Fuck my own shit. <laughs> yeah. I cracked him with that one. Doing another deal. He was taking it from the Mexicans and dealing it out to his own people. He didn't believe in shit. He's ugly. Don't let her walk out of here. Mm, for real. Because if you do, you spend the next week wondering if she's out there getting her fuck on with somebody else. Will you just lay on your back and let her take out all that aggression on you? Who's <laughs> he horny as shit right now? You don't know how long you've been in there though. And she's gonna punish you first, right? Let me catch you. What was a creep? That's it, right? Yeah. He's creeped out. I, for, I forgive you. I love you. <laughs> he's a, <laughs> nah, he's a creep. He was oh, laughing with a black. Yeah, he better go sit by himself. How do you figure the Lakers to ever be a bigger dynasty? He talking to him now. These are like a flare up. A fluke. Are you, you know what I mean? Like one good coach for four years. The Celtics are like a dynasty. The Celtics, right? Like the ugliest team in the history of sports. A dynasty of ugly motherfuckers, man. And boy kept trying to talk to him and knowing what he was about to. I can't even talk to you. I can't. I don't even know what you're saying. You are tweaking, Boston Celtics. What is that tweak? How many is that? That's enough. No, all right. This is right here in the to, him. to the black boy. Yeah. What the fuck landed you in here? You didn't kill anybody. You're too skinny for a gangbanger. It's embarrassing, all right? It's none of your goddamn business. You think nobody in here got away with anything? Look, man, I, I, I stole the TV, all right? She was probably broke. Store that was right next door to a donut shop, all right? I run out, the store owner's running behind me yelling, bam, I run into three cops, all right? <laughs> oh, shit. That doesn't make sense. No, you didn't, get, you didn't get six years for stealing a TV, man. They said I threw the TV at the office. So, six years. Yeah. You chucked it at him or something. I came out of the store, he grabbed my arm, fell on his foot. Because remember you talking about Rodney King, he said he did something like he did it intentionally to the officer. Yeah. Oh boy, let up behind the back. He playing with black people and everything right God, now. He was just talking about bull too. They might fuck around and stab that man in there. Fuck him up. The white boys is about Damn, to some people turned on him. You wanna be a sweet boy? Fuck you! We gonna treat you like one. No! Oh! Yeah, I'm changing on everybody too when I come out. Fuck you talking about my own people did that to me? Damn. That was real sweet. Fuck you! <laughs> I'm gonna say boy did look a little, you know what I'm saying? I ain't wanna say it though. Yeah. Did that to their own man. Took his cheeks, he's done. I'm coming out. Literally everybody. took his cheeks, boy. Like, we in the shower? <clears throat> oh shit, out the Sweeney King. Oh, cat. He probably came to talk to him about his brother. The boy laying on a table, ass out, ass hurt. Damn. <laughs> I got the blackout tattoos over them shits. Knowing what he, knowing how he look at black people, he's still keen. Yeah, like, and I know what you did. But he said he wasn't trying to give up on Danny either. Man, what the hell are you doing here anyway? Well, I came to talk about Danny, but we don't have to do that right now. Mm-hmm. I brought you some books. Well, what about him? You know, don't keep me in suspense. He's headed right where you are. I mean, Sweeney come is different than the mom. Danny's not my responsibility. What do you expect me to do with that? It doesn't help me. Am I supposed to feel guilty? Well, I don't want you to do anything. I need to know the truth about how you feel. Well, what, do you think I want him in here? I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's also why he told him to write the story on. Because he came and seen him and he changed. He, 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 once a week, I came and we talked about this. I know about this place. There was a moment when I used to blame everything and everyone. I used to blame everybody, blame white people. I didn't get no answers because I was asking the wrong questions. Has anything you've done made your life better? Damn, that's facts. Get me out of here, you know? I don't want to fuck up my family anymore. I'll go, I'll go as far away as I can get. You want my help? You got to do better than that. My help is not unconditional. But running just ain't good enough. 
Yeah, because that don't mean you ain't going to go somewhere else and do the same shit. It'd be even worse. <laughs> now they scared. They can't even sit. Yo, what's up, D? Yo, what's all that bullshit you put in the mess hall, man? Are you out of your fucking mind? Are you fucking crazy? You can't make it in here on your own. Look, I'm not afraid of those fucking pussies, okay? Bro, that's not it. The rest of the prison. They're protecting your stupid ass. You dissed them in public. Yo, man, I'm talking about the brothers, all right? They're gonna fuck you, toss your salad, then smoke your motherfucking oh, ass. Oh, 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 why don't you tell me something I don't already know? You about to whoop his ass. Every day I was sure it was my dad. Every time I stepped out of my cell, every time I got in that shower. Yo, what? Well, I'm showering facing the wall, you heard? I mean, my back to the wall. Well, the fuck out. I couldn't figure it out because I knew some of them were itching for it. But after a while, I just put my head down and read the stuff that Sweeney sent me. Andy Dufresne? Maybe the only reason I'm getting out of here in one piece is you. Come on, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. You think I'm going to put my neck on the line for some crazy ass peck of wood? He looked out for his mans. See Black Boy in the back? No Watch him. They probably did something to my man. No, I'm not. I'm lucky. They could have really did me dirty in there. It's wrong, Dan. It's wrong, and it was it was eating me up. It was gonna kill me. Young boy not going for it though. How did I buy into this shit? You know, it's just because I was pissed off. I mean, I killed two guys, Danny. I killed them, and it didn't make me feel any different. I oh, mean, just getting started. Just getting started. But I need you to understand, because I love you and you're my best friend. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. You writing this paper? He gonna die, and that's gonna change him. But he ain't gonna be able to come around no more. Unless camera let him, but... We about to catch him right now. No cap. I'm scared what's about to happen. He kicked that boy Cam in the ringleader. The creep, sir. Young pussy -o. You about to start taking all that motherfucking shit down. You taking it down too? Man, this shit not about to end good, man. But at least Danny know what his story is, though. Yeah. Know why he shared. Versus him just like, he just acting weird, now he know. Yeah, he told him everything that happened, like, oh, oh shit. My God, bro. This is, they gonna sh It's always the older niggas, like. He don't, young boy don't wanna do it though, like. It don't matter. He got to. They might shoot Danny. Bring my mans right back into it. I'm telling you, this guy is different. Dr. Sweeney, I've never had a teacher like this. He's got like two PhDs. I don't know what he's doing teaching in our school. You know, it's everywhere I look now. Yeah, so his dad was like that. I don't know, Dr. Sweeney, he comes on like so strong. It's it's kind of hard not to listen to him, but... See the daughter looking at him? Bullshit. Bullshit. See? Mm-hmm. You see that, don't you? Yeah. Really shot your punk <clears throat> ass. Fuck arms. And then, like, he'd probably brush it off just now. But as soon as he died, all that shit came back. Somebody dying though, they ain't just showing this to show this, you heard? Okay, I think it's gonna be Danny. My money's on Danny dying. The boy washing away everything right now. Nah, that's gonna be whatchamacallit. Derek. That die? Yeah. I mean, it makes sense because that's like. like he he's born that, again. Huh? It's like he born again. That, but like he's also writing that paper. And I feel like he's talking about past events like that happened in his life mm -hmm. oh shit he also probably told him to watch Derek too to see if he actually changed yeah since he's writing about it if I hit the social significance or whatever you're looking for but for what it's worth thanks a lot but I'm gonna put on a tie I'm like dancing I need to grow my hair back G wow you look great we're gonna get a job gotta dress up for the parole officer good morning yeah, <laughs> she little sis now. Mm -hmm. She wasn't at first because of how the crib situation was. That little sis now, yeah. They were jumped last night near Ben's burger. It looks like they're gonna live, and they got lucky. Somebody's gotta lose them. All those witnesses. Well, you talk to your old crew. Oh, come on, this come is on, not no a good way. thing. I hate to tell you, but I'm out. Okay, those guys are probably gunning for me now. Look, we're asking for your help here, Derek. 
My man trying to get out of this. She keep pulling me back in. Don't ask me to fix this whole fucking situation. I'm not asking that. It was there before me. You helped create it. You, you want to take a break now? Now he going to die, bro. Like, y'all niggas is annoying. I can make a fucking bit of difference. Mike. Not a bit. Mike. Just tell him that y'all got in a fight last night. I'm asking you to do whatever's in your power to do. Bro, this ain't got nothing to do with me. It don't, They bro. know. It's his, remember he said though, it's conditional. He probably got out in order to help stop all this stuff. We're all gonna have a laugh at that, let me tell you. But then he's gonna get shot and then he got the fucking, the paper he wrote. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm not fucking with Sweeney after that. You gonna force my mans to do that. Anytime somebody try to change, it's always, bro. I saw a car cruising by the house last night when I pulled out of there with Seth. The boy was on it. They're after you, man. It'll cool off. If I made it through Chino. You know, this would be a visa cake, right? They ain't have guns in China. Go turn that paper in. Okay. All right. See hey, you. hey, Dan. I love you. I'll see you at home. He know he about to die. Yeah. Good luck, all right? His girl might shoot him. His ex. <laughs> she told Seth to shoot him. This shorty Lizzie. But she with all that other shit. You know how paranoid he is right now? <gasps> The black bull is about to beat his ass in there. <gasps> this stupid ass shot somebody in school? Why didn't it look like my boy Shindri? Get out of my way! All right, all right, all right. Get out of my way! All right, all right. Oh, no, no, no. Damn. Damn. God, what did I do? That's about to turn her into a demon. Literally, and it was a black boy that killed him. Oh, God. They'll cry. What you mean? That boy don't got no more tears for all this. Or cry too much. Literally. Hate is baggage. Life's too short to be pissed off all the time. It's just not worth it. Doris gonna be hurt. Hmm? Mom Dukes. Yeah, no. She was like, that's my baby. Damn. Down the same road. The mystic chords of memory will swell when again touched. And surely they will be by the better angels of our nature. Damn, that you cool. Well, young boys are, who shot him is retarded. He ain't do nothing to you, bro. That's weird. R.I.P. to that boy, Danny. He wasn't even all the way into it. It was sad to see how it ended, man, but I knew it was going to end in some sort of fashion with one of them uh, dying. But, you know, Derek started it all, so... At the end of the day, that could be karma on him. Sadly, Danny got intertwined with it with him leaving. No matter what gang you in, you're a target to somebody. So if it's not the police, it's another gang. If it's not a gang, it's, a, it's an individual like we've seen here. To see the turnaround Derek had and also the influence he had over his family. Like once he started to do good and not want to be around certain things, like they were ready to drop everything and you know do what he said he was basically the man of the household after their father passed away you know that father figure he ended up leaning into was that guy cameron he just told him that shit and with that shit you know they they created a bond and he just wanted i guess to make cameron proud so he pushed that stuff forward but like he was going after young kids that were troubled and frustrated and when you do that you know certain people put all their faith into whatever they're learning or who they connect with so love this man it was it was a it was a joy to watch and to see how you know certain stories turned out some people could be like extremely offended by certain stuff like this but for me i like to have like a different outlook on it and not take shit too seriously so off of that it just goes to show too like when he was in prison the people that turned on him was the people that he put the most faith into you kind of compare that to like how life is too um, the people that you do put the most faith into, they can hurt you the most because you do have that that strong faith that they'll never turn on you and stuff like that. But well, what I got from it from like a more morale standpoint was just like, like be open to meeting different people, you know what I mean? And being put into different situations. Cause like even with him trying to leave, he'd have been surrounded by different people. And I feel like Sweeney did the right thing by I'm going to see him in the prison and I also see why he didn't want to give up on Danny as well because if he was meeting with Derek the whole time and understood where he how he changed even though for Sweeney he probably thought it was too late for him multiple times especially after he killed those uh kids yeah that look he had in his eye um 
he still, you know what I mean, kept his mind open for the same thing with Daddy. Like we say with a lot of things, when you want to change and really put your mind and heart into, you know what I mean, changing your scenario, your environment or like cutting people off. Or even like when it comes to like drugs and stuff, alcohol, you know what I mean? When you really make that decision in your mind that you do want to change, that's when like everything is thrown at you to try to keep you in it or doing it. Testing you. Know I mean? Yeah, it's just like testing if you really want to stop or not or change. And it just sucks that the scenario played out the way it did with Danny because like they both did genuinely want to change. And it was like he didn't even get the opportunity to. But a lot of stuff nowadays that like people don't sit down and like try to understand where other people are coming from you know what i mean it's just all for face value but i mean rightfully so like boy got the swat school on him and shit it's like bro i'm not allowed to fuck with like, and then you hear about what his brother did and he got his head shaved and he's like smoky your face stuff, at that like, point it's like, like damn like i don't really got know. nothing to say to him yeah but i enjoyed this how this all played out um and the boy edward horton or i think that's his name that played it was a primal fear that played Derek. Mm -hmm. Like he did a real good job acting during this movie. And like when he came out of jail, you could see like the difference in his eyes and his pupils and shit. Like I don't yeah. know how people be doing that. that boy. Like, like, like when he killed, kill bull, like you could tell like nah, he really was like really off into that, that yeah. boy love that. If you enjoyed the reaction, make sure you like the video, comment down below, leave your thoughts, and subscribe on the bell, kind of subscribe for our videos below. Yeah, I appreciate you until the next video. The kids reacted. <laughs>